Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can use aloe vera and Vaseline for crazy high growth. If you are interested, you definitely want to keep on watching and I suggest you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it. Now, before you get into the video, I just want to say a huge thank you if you are a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate your support. And if you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. Now, let's hop right into the video. So to begin with, we are going to make some aloe vera gel. So for this, I'm using some fresh aloe vera leaf. If you don't have this guys in your area, it's fine to use aloe vera gel from the store or you can even make some flaxseed gel if that's all you've got available. Now I love aloe vera just because of its moisturizing effect on the hair and also it's super super beneficial for scalp health. So it helps to prevent dandruff, itchiness and essentially just helps to stimulate and promote faster hair growth. So to make the gel, it's really nice and simple. If you've been working with me from the beginning, guys, you will know how to do this already. So you can skip this part. But if you're not sure, just keep on watching. It's very simple. So you just want to wash your aloe vera. You can soak it as well for about 15 minutes before you use. But I've used it for so long that it's fine for me to just wash and use straight away. So essentially, you want to cut the sharp edges and then cut it in the middle and remove the flesh of the aloe vera, just like I'm doing here. And just pop it in this little ball here or whatever it is that you may have um, that you're working with. And then after you finish doing that, guys, we're going to go ahead and give it a good blend. So for this, I'm using a hand blender. But you can also pop it in your smoothie maker or maybe just like, you know, your regular blender as well, if that's what you've got available. Now, bear in mind, the longer you blend, the more liquid this gets. So... If you're looking for like a liquid kind of consistency then you can blend for a little bit longer but obviously if you're looking for like a jelly like kind of consistency then don't blend for too long so just bear that in mind it also depends on the type of aloe vera that you're using some types are quite jelly like essentially so even if you blend it for a long time it will still retain that gel kind of consistency so after you blended it guys we're just going to go ahead and sieve it so for this i'm using a recap but again anything that you have available will work as well so just a regular sieve as well would do the, um, a fantastic job too So this is it here, all nice and done. It's pretty simple to make aloe vera gel from scratch. You can actually um, save this in your fridge for up to a week, um, depending on the type of aloe vera that you've got, guys. Some, like I said, are quite liquid in consistency. So if it sits around for a little bit, it will become like water. And then others are quite jelly-like and they do stay for quite some time. Um, so essentially just like you saw here it's a little bit foamy at the top as well and i really don't mind that foam so i just put it in my spray bottle uh, sorry an applicator bottle so it's easier for me to use on my hair but if you allow it to sit around for a little bit the foam will completely go away now next we're going to go on to prep the vaseline as well um for our hair so for this i'm using vaseline just like you can see here but you can also use petroleum jelly if that's all you've got available so just take an amount that you think will be okay uh, for the amount of hair that you may have um obviously if you make more you can always keep to use in the future so now we're going to go in with some type of oil so this is one of my hair growth oil. I shared this video with you guys already. It contains rosemary and fenugreek seeds. So um, yeah, I'm using this, um, you know, to prep my Vaseline. But if you haven't got a DIY oil that you've already made, it's fine to use olive oil or avocado oil. So you need like a liquid oil, but I'll suggest that you stick to olive oil or avocado oil or even rapeseed oil just because those are generally really good for scalp health and also for stimulating um, hair growth so you want to pour your your oil on there and just give it a good stir until all of the um, vaseline has melted if you want you can also do the double boiler method for this 
perhaps not on the stove but you can put like hot water in a little container and just place the little bowl inside and just stir until the whole thing is combined but it does get combined like this as well um yeah so that's kind of pretty much it so this is now nice and done and it's ready to use and when i tell you guys using these two together is the bomb like honestly it is super super moisturizing on the hair and it keeps your hair really nice and soft and silky and like that for quite a long time as well so if you're someone that has a really dry hair or hair that don't seem to retain moisture for a prolonged period of time try this method i tell you you will definitely come back with a good testimony because honestly it, it is, is amazing it's super super moisturizing so anyways i'm just showing you guys here how i'm using it on my hair so i i was using this to help take my braids out my hair uh these braids i've had it for like three weeks already i mean from the time that i was recording this video um so it was definitely time for me to, to to take them out and when i tell you guys my hair was so dry it was so tangled because obviously i'm going through postnatal shedding so the shed hair was literally you know stuck in between the braid and also right at the bottom of my hair i did have quite a bit of build up as well so it was quite you know tangled and matted at the bottom so this really helped kind of melt those um the build up and also just melt the tangos and just help me you know with detangling my hair a lot easily without causing any unnecessary breakage so it works really really well when it comes to um like i said earlier moisture and that's all you need like if you've got you know braids that you've kept for a very long time and it's all clotted at the bottom just like it does sometimes you know this will be a really good um combination to use to help you um take your hair out even you know even if it's your daughter that you're working on um you can you can also apply this method and it will definitely help you out a lot because it did help me loads if you've been through postnatal shedding you will know basically what i'm talking about because essentially when their hair sheds it just all sometimes accumulate at the bottom and yeah it makes it a lot harder to detangle but if you've got something like this that makes it a lot easier it saves you you know the time and also saves your hair essentially now you don't necessarily have to use it in this manner um but i just thought i would mention it in case perhaps you know you may be looking for something that can help you when you take your hair out sometimes but you can also use this just as a regular leave-in conditioner or kind of like you know sealant so if you are sort of moisturizing your hair as you would normally do throughout the week you can just apply it to the sections that you're working with just like i'm doing here give it a nice massage and then use the oil slash vaseline that we made earlier to seal the moisture in your hair and essentially that will stay moisturized for quite a long time i tell you it will stay moisturized for a very long time and yeah it just it just feels really really nice on the hair so back to what i'm doing here so just like i said guys i was taking my braids out and i just did a bit of finger detangling went through a little bit of aloe vera again and i'm just using my white tooth comb here to properly detangle my hair and i'm going to twist and then move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of my hair is completely done so this brings me to the end of the video guys if you watched it to this point and you still haven't liked please please go ahead and give the video a good thumbs up and also if you're not yet subscribed to the channel guys please go ahead and hit the subscribe button i post videos every single week healthy high growth diys uh, recipes that you guys can benefit from so definitely consider clicking the subscribe button and also don't forget to share the video with your friend your family member so that they could also learn something um from it so thank you for watching until next time bye